for our end of semester exhibition, the parents walked through the physics classroom and humanities classroom of my teaching partners. And we had set up uh, like a path that they would follow to see all the various exhibits that the students had prepared. We had a lot of different products for our exhibition. In math, we had three different products, some of which tied to their physics class, some tied to their humanities class, and then the physics and humanities class had some of their own products as well. In math class, we were exhibiting our newspaper, which was a part of the middle phase of our project. And then they had designs for their stained glass pieces that they created in physics class. And they had used systems of linear inequalities to design this. And then they had also put together magazines as sort of a portfolio of all of their work from the whole semester and had picked out all of their different favorite assignments and reflected on them and made cute magazine covers to be a part of the newsstand display. The whole newsstand was their math products. It had their newspapers and their magazines. And then there were tables set up around the newsstand with students sitting at them to engage the parents in some conversations that they had been discussing in humanities related to truthiness and how we read news and the different lenses we look at news through. I think the parents had a couple of different opportunities. The first was to engage in really meaningful conversations with their students about topics that are in the news right now. So that was some of the conversations that were going on. And the parents also got to see through the newspapers that their students created, some of the ways that the students were trying to make sense of those issues broadly and then within their own classroom environment and the way the students portrayed that beautifully on the newspaper and then were able to articulate in discussions. For many of the students, it was their first exhibition because they're ninth graders, and they have expressed feelings of pride and excitement and that they were really nervous as it went on, but by the end of the night, they were really proud. We also shared with them that a lot of visitors were super excited about the ways that they had brought in their math, physics, and humanities learning all into one project. And it was one of the best projects that a lot of visitors had seen in a long time about that. And the students were glowing when they heard us share that.